Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is general query log in MariaDB. The general query log is the log of every SQL query received from a client as well as each client connect and disconnect. So pretty much whatever the queries you are going to run on MariaDB, it is going to keep the log of that. Okay, as it is the uh, keep the record for every query it is going to grow fast so you will have select delete update whatever the queries you are going to have it it is going to keep all of them and that's why it grows fast if you only are interested to keep the records for a data change so you might want to use the binary log instead of using a general query log that's one of the suggestion or make sure you have enough space on the disk where you are writing your general query log file by default, the general query log is disabled. You have to enable it uh, after the installation. If you want to enable it, you have to add two entries in the config file. Okay, so what are those uh, entries? If uh, you have installed MariaDB as a standalone, what you will do, you will go to the etc and there we have my.config file. In that file, you will uh, add general log is equal to one that will enable it. Second part, uh, you will tell uh, where exactly this file should be created. So general log file equal to provide the directory and then uh, provide the file name. Most of the time it is MySQL and then you say log, but you can change it whatever you like. If you have installed uh, MariaDB on Galera cluster, what you are going to do, in that case uh, you will go to the etc directory then you will go to the my.config.d directory and there you have a file called server.config. You will make the changes. You will add these two lines to it. General log is equal to one. That will enable it. And the second part, you will provide the path where the file should be. So that's where it will log all the information. Okay, now first of all, in my case, um, uh, it is already enabled. I have enabled it. Uh, there are uh, ways. Maybe you are new DBA. You want to check uh, if uh, it is already on uh, and uh, where it is writing. So you can uh, show variable like general log. So connect to the MariaDB and run these. Uh, let's uh, go and perform these two demos first. Uh, so I will show you the files uh, and uh, where you need to write it, and also we'll check the status. Uh, okay. Uh, let me let me switch my screen. Okay, so we are right here in the party and uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to clear this screen. Now, if we check, uh, we are in uh, ETC already, but uh, let's go back one step. So we go uh, PWD. So we are in ETC. I can uh, do, uh, let's say if my, conf uh, my installation is a standalone MariaDB installation. So I am already in the ETC. So I will do cat uh, my.config file. And you can see that uh, um, I don't have those entries there. But in case if I have to put those entries, I can simply put those entries there if it is standalone. In my case, it's Galera cluster installed. So that's why I will uh, go to the server.config. But if you need to make changes, you will do sudo uh, vim and uh, my.config. It will open uh, and the uh, editor for you. Okay, so just wait and Okay, editor is open. And now you will simply go here and type that uh, statement. So general, like uh, you will hit escape first, then hit, hit I, that will bring the insert uh, mode of it. Then you will say general and uh, then uh, uh, log equal to one. So uh, let me see what exactly is the script. So uh, yeah, general underscore log is equal to one. And then you have a general underscore log underscore file is equal to the path of it. Okay, so this goes like this general and uh, log underscore file is equal to the path. So, so let's say if I want to put into the var log and I want to say mysql dot log. So that, that's how I will put two entries there. Okay, in my case, I don't uh, need to because I have already Glare cluster installed. So I'm going to escape from here. So I will hit escape and colons. Q and this explanation mark and hit enter. Okay, so you might not see on my screen uh, that these uh, characters are sometime uh, uh, I can't see show you the whole screen and uh, but uh, no, uh, pretty much you will uh, just uh, get out of the Vim editor. Okay, now next uh, I will show you actual entries in my uh, 
configuration so I will go to the etc I am already in the etc but uh, anyways so maya.config.d and uh, now if I will do ls uh, I should have uh, uh, server.config here so once I will go to server.config uh, I should put the entries there so I will do sudo vim server.config uh, that will open uh, this uh, entire uh, glare cluster uh, configuration for me and I can simply put these two entries there in my case you can see that we have journal log is equal to 1 and uh, then the journal log file var log mysql is, uh, is uh, mysql dot log so you can see that right there okay escape from here because we don't need to any update any entry if it would be not there we will uh, just uh, simply update that one all right, so let's uh, connect to the MariaDB now. And uh, if uh, you are new DBA and uh, you want to see if it is uh, already enabled, one way you can go to the configuration file, take a look. Uh, on top of that, you have uh, uh, other variables available to you that you can run, and that will help you to see if the configuration is enabled. Show variables like journal log, hit enter and you can see that it is already on second part i would like to see where exactly this file is created so i will go and run another statement called show variables like journal log file so let me do this okay hit enter and you can see that that's where my file is okay great now uh, in any case you know how to enable it or how to see the values next part what we are going to do from here uh, we will uh, exit and then uh, uh, let me show you the presentation uh, we will uh, give me one second okay now in the presentation what we are saying uh, uh, enable journal log for a table so to write logs into table the log output server system variable is uh, used allow uh, values or file table or none it is possible to specify multiple values separated by commas to write the logs into the both tables and the files none disable login and has precedence over the other values okay so if you already see that we are writing the data to the file and if you are also interested to write the data to the table you can enable this setting so you will say set global log output is equal to file and table and in that case now your log will be written to the table and file I don't really recommend that because if you are already writing the data to the file, what's the advantage to write the data to the table as well? But in case uh, you are you want to do it, it's your choice, you know. And uh, uh, you don't you want to capture every activity on both sides in the file and table. Um, but uh, maybe you go for one choice, you know. I will go with one file or table. Uh, next, uh, if journal log is active for table, you can query the table to see the information. So where that table is, that table is in MySQL database and it's called journal log. So you can do that. Now let's go back to Petty. First of all, we will. Uh, I have actually done this one. I'm gonna go ahead and enable it so I can show you information on both places. Uh, let's go back here. L uh, log into the MariaDB okay bad password now we can go ahead and enable this one uh, log output variable so we are doing file and table okay that looks good next part is if we would like to see the logs from the table so we can do that as we are already in the MariaDB terminal we can see that so select start from mysql.journal. underscore log okay so this table is going to give us all the information and if you guys notice that a few seconds back or minutes back we were running these queries so you can see that set global variable output this is the one of the query we ran and we were taking a look on the um, because uh, we tried to log in um, it was uh, failed you know password was not correct access denied so we get that error is there so we were setting this variable so if you guys notice as we showed so all these uh, queries i ran uh, on uh, this maria db and it is capturing that information okay great now uh, this is the timestamp so you can see that uh, when it happened and uh, this is the id okay and uh, this is the user 
so uh, you have a pretty much uh, uh, you know a lot of information it is query connect uh, or disconnect or quit uh, so you can see that what time we logged out uh, from uh, this uh, MariaDB great so if you want to see further description of this uh, you can always uh, um, let me clear the screen I am sorry <laughs> when I was explaining I was uh, uh, selecting the data down there and uh, you were not able to see so what I was selecting so here is the data what I was uh, referring to like uh, here uh, you can see the time and then uh, this is the ID and uh, this is uh, the username and uh, that's uh, I'm not sure it's a process or um, something yeah thread the ID okay so the table does even time user host thread ID server ID command type and argument so you can see all that information in this uh, table great okay now uh, we are gonna uh, exit from here and then we go back to the our log so CD war CD log okay CD war log sorry log and my SQL so that's a directory and if I do ls I can see that I have this uh, uh, mysql.log that's a journal uh, file I have uh, created so this is the path I've provided in my configuration so if I will do uh, uh, maybe uh, tail minus 100 and uh, mysql.log uh, so now you can uh, see that whatever the queries we ran uh, in the table we see we saw them in the table as well and here you can see them as well so uh, this uh, uh, date format is a little different so you have a uh, yy year month and day and uh, in the table it was yyy four time y so it was 2018 you know not a big deal we know that what it is so it's a date time then uh, thread id query type you know and uh, then you have actual query right there so you can see from there uh, again uh, let uh, let me clear this one and if I will do do you ch you can see that the size of this file so 377 m so you have to be careful if you are doing a lot of queries on this server this the file can grow huge and uh, that can uh, uh, take a lot of storage on the disk so you want to make sure um, you, know, you have a control of it or delete it often or something retention you know same way as your table is logging out all the information that's one of the thing you want to be aware of it you can all truncate on some uh, time uh, to make sure you don't have a uh, mysql database too big because in case you need to restore something or um, you know uh, it can take a whole lot of uh, space on the storage all right thank you very much and uh, i hope this video will help subscribe if you like and i will see you guys in the next video